Where is that coming from? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. There's a dude stuck in the wall. Great. Okay. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. We don't have any traps. We have nothing set up yet. I do, however, I think have mollies. Let's check. Well, we're going to make some, that's for sure. There goes all my alcohol. Where'd he go? That's a little strange. And how did that guy die? Okay, this game is getting weirder and weirder every time I play it. We'll take care of this dude, I guess. And we got to be careful. I have no traps. I don't have a whole lot in my inventory yet. Hello, sir. How are you this afternoon? You can't break my buildings. They're indestructible. Okay? Like it would be in real life. Oh, yeah. This is going to be an easy kill. My question is, how did he get in there? Okay, let's just take care of this dude real quick. All right. Okay. And let me show you guys around the base. Uh, welcome to the Outer Middle Show, by the way. <laughs> Mad Vlad is the name, and the forest is the game. In today's episode, we're continuing on with our prison. Cannibal Prison. I did some stuff offline. I put up a rock wall, which took forever days it took me to get that up i was gonna go one more wall high but i decided not to for the sake of getting a video out i did set up a lot of blueprints to kind of figure out how i was going to do this and i still don't know if this is going to work but you kind of see what i'm going for here we used happy birthday traps turned backwards so that when they run through it traps them within this area now we are going to stack these fences and make them maybe three high and then we'll have a visible prison to display our captures the only one thing that could screw this up is and i've seen this several times is once a happy birthday trap goes off all they have to do is run into it and it kills them so we're going to test that today before we go all out and build everything i cut a hole in the bottom and also as you can see the front of the base has been removed not removed but rebuilt somebody suggested that in the comment section and i was like great I get to rebuild that again. So I reverted back to a save and basically started over. Now this base isn't as big as the original one, but it does have an open front. That way I can monitor anything that comes in and then we can capture, hopefully capture whatever comes in here. But this is not the extent of the build. As you can see up top, we do have a little base, a little observatory. We're going to be putting a roof on that. We're also going to be building a ton of traps out here. It's going to be like a carnival of death and imprisonment. It's not going to be fun for the opposition. But what I plan to do is catch at least one of every mutant and one of every cannibal. It's going to be interesting. I'm thinking, and I'm not sure if I should do this, I'm thinking about putting up maybe a log wall with a gate here. Just in case, you know, I, I let him out to play in the yard. This is, this is the yard where they do basketball and they do all that fun stuff. Maybe jump in there with them. <laughs> Close the gate so they can't get out. And then, with, man, getting them back in the cages is going to suck. I don't know. And then for a grand finale, we're going to blow them to smithereens. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We've got a lot of work to do. But first, we have to test this. Get that bird off my hand. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. First, let's get these fences built. I really need a stick bag. That would help out tremendously. And I always forget what it takes to build a stick bag. We could use the cart, but I find the stick bag to be a lot easier. Let's make some rope. Okay. And let's see here. A stick bag is three cloth, two rope, and one rabbit fur. That's pretty easy. Okay. If we see a rabbit, we'll slay it. But for now, I think we're going to use the cart to haul our sticks. Also... I'm not going to be getting a modern bow or making a bow, I don't think, at all. We're going to be using handheld weapons. No projectiles. 
just to give ourselves a bit of a challenge. There we go. We'll fill this up with sticks. I do want to try to make this the most extravagant build I've ever done. As you guys know, I'm not really good at building, but I do like doing it all by hand. I don't like creative mode or anything like that. So we're going to be actively working on this base episode to episode, making it better, making it more effective. And if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. It's going to span out through the entire yard and our yard expanded a bit. Not too much, but it did a bit. I went further out this way. We are going to have to take uh, normal trips to grab supplies. Well, we've got the plane, but you can only get so much off the plane. And I know there's a more effective way of cutting down all this stuff. I think the repair tool. Let's see. The lawnmower. Yes! Uses no stamina. I was going to put a floor in the prison, but you guys know that very annoying thing that they never fixed. Anytime you build something close to the ground, the grass is just growing up through it, and it looks terrible. So I didn't go with the floor. I really hope they fix that in the new game. But I've been doing a bit of research on Sons of the Forest, and uh, that game's going to keep us busy for a long, long time. I can't wait to see what other creators do with it. Oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, come on. Here comes Peter Cottontail running down the bunny trail. Where's he at? There he is. There he is. There he is. You know, I could probably hit him with a rock. <sighs> ah, yes. Got him. Stick bag, baby. Let's do it. Here comes Peter Cottontail hopping up the... I don't even know if that's how it goes. Okay, two rope. Nothing. Cloth. Yes. Got it. Now we can carry more sticks. Lawnmower time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where'd that come from? Another rabbit. Gotcha. There you are. Okay, so it looks like the more powerful cannibals are coming out to play. I'm going to try to skin this while he's being stupid. Yeah. Got me a rabbit. You want the head? I'll save the head for you. He's got a weapon. Like that stick you got there. That's nice. You want to play? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Why are you growling at me, sir? What did I ever do to you? There's that pond right over there. I didn't even see it. You want to check out this bird? They call me the... Bird Whisperer. <laughs> See? You can do it too. Just put out your hand. Yeah, that was cool, wasn't it? Come here. Oh, These guys are hard to reason with. And he's gone. Whatever. Back to work. The good thing about this area is the abundance of sticks is insane. Every time you log off and log back on, it's all regrown. It's like the sun's going down. We're going to need to build a fire. We need actual shelter. But we don't really have that. We're still kind of out in the open. Nighttime is when they come out. Okay, there we go. Let's get this back. Test this thing out. We're going to capture one. We're going to keep them for a while. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to capture him. It's just going to have to be blind luck. Like I said, this is going to be a hard thing to accomplish. Let's get these built first so we can stack them. Thought about using bones, but that would take way too long. Okay. Let's pull out the book of fun adventures. Let's stack these if we can. Well, they don't automatically stack. I didn't know that. That's not good. Guess we're going to have to do it manually. Eh, that don't look too bad. We'll roll with that. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Okay, I don't think they'll be getting over that. I like the gaps in it. We'll be able to see the cannibals really well. Okay, I don't think they're getting out of that. 
I was going to use rock walls. I think that was a good idea. Ooh, yeah. That's. I don't think they can get through that. No, I think we're good there. All right. Now we got to do is get this trap built, and we should be good to go. I may take down that fence. I don't know. It just. I don't know. It doesn't look the best. I think you can stack bone fences. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to test out a couple things. The hell was that? Let's drink. There we go. I'm getting a little hungry, so we're going to have to eat here soon. What am I here? Oh. Hello, ma'am. Would you like a rabbit head? Yeah. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. I'm friendly out here, okay? I don't want to imprison you. I'm a good guy. I wouldn't mind getting a date out of here. It's a little lonely. Uh, yeah, you're feisty. I didn't want to do that, just letting you know. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Uh-oh. Here comes her boyfriend. Okay. Um, let's see what we got. Now, we have nothing to drink. We do have some meat. Let's pull out a repair tool. He's wondering where she is right now. <laughs> She's dead. She is stiff as a board. Okay, he's over by my base. Checking it out. We really need to get that trap done. I think the thing I'm most excited about with the new game is the new AI for the cannibals. Because we're going to have conflicting tribes. That's going to be insane. I cannot wait for that. I've said before that my favorite thing about the game is the cannibals AI. And it's going to be insane to mess with. Wee, man. Been working hard tonight. Let's see if uh, Suzanne Summers has us dinner. Maybe some pork liver and rice. Uh, Suzanne, do you make me dinner? I'm a little hungry. Yes. All right. She knows what I like. She gets it. High five. I just scooted a lizard all across the floor. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell did I just eat? Oh, that's cute. There must have been a poisonous mushroom under him. He did that on purpose. Okay. Oh, wind's picking up. All right, let's get this built. Okay. Need some trees. Let's go cut down a tree or two. I don't want to cut down too many on this side because I like... Oh, there's one. Where'd that come from? Oh, there's more. I must have cut down a tree. But like I said, I don't want to cut down too many on this side. I want it to appear... Like, it's just a bald spot in front of the base, and I want it to be surrounded by trees. All right. We need a rock bag, too. I forgot about that. Let's make some more rope. We're getting low on cloth. Okay. There we go. Two rocks. Right there. Okay. That's our first gel cell. Jail cell. That's always been hard for me to say. Jail cell. We'll test its ability to hold, and we'll see it in the daylight. We'll wait till morning. I'll make a fire. We'll cook some meat. We'll eat hearty, and then we'll get this show on the road. All right. Got the fire built. Got some food going. Going to eat us some breakfast. Sun's coming up. I don't know about you guys, but breakfast is easily my favorite meal of the day. There we go. Looking good. Might as well eat them both. Need a tanning rack. That's what we need. I'm also going to try to get 
decorative with this and kind of make it look like a like an actual prison. I'm going to put up these stone pillars. Maybe shoot them up four high. I don't know. This build is going to be really, really awesome. Wow, look at that. I didn't know they flew over this area. Oh, that's right. There's water behind us. There's that small lake or pond or whatever you want to call it. Now we've witnessed a lot of turtle deaths throughout our entire series. And uh, witnessing the tragedy of a turtle dying of old age is something I've seen way too many times in my day. We'll probably witness it again. We just got to expect it, but we need something to drink water out of. Not that I'm hoping for it, but it will probably happen. Yeah. Okay, so looking at this in the daytime, I don't know why that irks me, but it does. It's not centered. It was dark when I put it together. Yeah, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a highly thought out thing. I used to think that you could stack. Well, you know what? You know what we could do? We could do one layer. Yes, we could do one layer of rock wall on the ground. And then we could put a fence on top of it. I think that would look a lot better. We're still going to test this out, though. And as, I don't know if I stated this or not, but we've got building destruction off. I think that's a little bit more realistic. I do believe that things can damage stuff, but anything made of flesh knocking down something that's solid wood, I highly doubt it. Now, maybe a door. That would be more realistic. But a structure like this, I don't think anything made of flesh could knock it down. So, what do we do now? I guess we wait. Let's go see what the turtles are doing so we can get something to drink out of. I mean, to see if they're okay. And while we're down here, we'll collect some stuff off the beach. Oh, looky here. We got us a turtle. Now we have to play with him. And their shells are super hard, so let's grab the climbing axe. Let's poke his back. See? He loves it. I love playing with turtles. It's so fun. Listen to the sound of that shell. So strong. Let's be careful. I knew it would happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've witnessed another turtle's death. We must honor him by drinking fluid from his back. And we must eat his brain. Okay. You guys live long. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm weeping for you. There, maybe that'll cheer you up. Okay. Let's honor this dead turtle. Wow, that was loud. Okay. Sounds like they're close. Just going to throw up a tanning rack right here. And we'll get that built later. Let's throw up a water collector next to it. There we go. Let's see where that came from. I wonder how we're going to lure them in here. Well, like I said, we're just going to have to get lucky. Uh-oh. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is going to suck. Looks like we've got two of them running around. Three of them. Four of them. Oh, my God. Let's see what they do. We got one climbing a tree like an idiot. Come on, sir. Yeah. Well, man, yeah, there's four of them. This is not good. But you got to remember that this base is indestructible, so we have to use it to our advantage. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a risk. Let's stand in here. God, I wish there was a rope. Hello, guys. It's not what it looks like. This is a playground. 
Uh, or an animal sanctuary. <laughs> Did he just hop that? I think he... Ooh. <sighs> Looks like we got some jigglies. Hey, look at this. See? Animal sanctuary. They call me nature boy. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. No. There you go, sir. I don't want to harm you. Okay? I'm going to try to wrap around him and get him to run straight into it. And she jumped over the trap. So now when she comes back to... S Is that not complete yet? Oh. It's not... <laughs> it's not complete yet. I have not swungeth on thee. There, now it's done. Oh my god. Yeah, see? We're just having a good old time in here. I thought it was done, but it wasn't. I saw him jump over something. That's not good. We might have to use rock walls, like completely. Hello, sir. Yeah, no need to swing at me, sir. I am not hostile. What is she doing? Damn it, man, we had one in there too. Sir, you seem to be hostile for reasons unknown. Hey, he's down here chilling. I'll tell you what, man, since they're running around, being stupid, maybe if we just go to the top, they'll just run around in there, and it'll happen. <laughs> and no, he's running away. He's following his girlfriends. No, there he is. Hello, sir. How are you this afternoon? Don't run off. Come on. They are so weird. The AI in this game, man, is so strange. But they're gone. Girls ran off. Ah, typical Mad Vlad. We had them, too. We had them. And I didn't have it complete. I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're probably just going to go ahead and fix this. So we got building destruction back on. We'll just knock all this down. Okay. Oh my god, are you serious, bro? Calm down. That's a big chief. Calm down, bro. What are you doing? Sir? I mean you no harm. This axe is not for defenses, defensible purposes. I'm just working on my base, you know. I got to get this down before he ends up knocking something. You like it in there? It's the animal sanctuary. Oh, shit. <laughs> Being surrounded. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's knocked down. There we go. Now they can't destroy my stuff. Where'd that one guy go? Where'd he go? Oh, man. I'm just going to have to eliminate these dudes. I don't have a choice. You know what that means. Katana time. I don't want to harm you. Okay. Can you please leave and come back at, like, 5 o'clock? Nice areolas. I see you, sir. Don't try nothing funny. Their behavior is so funny. Okay, one dude's gone. I think the girl just ran off. No, nope, there she is. <laughs> There's no need to growl, sir. No need to growl. You can stay, okay? I don't mind. And he's back. They're getting more aggressive. Okay, guys, this is getting a little awkward. Oh, my God. They are surrounding me. <coughs> nope, don't let them get too close. This is honestly the most awkward standoff I've ever had with the cannibals. She comes, she shows her areolas, and then she runs away. 
Yep, there was nothing there to jump, sir. But you seem to have done it. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here, huh? You like it? Mad Vlad's Animal Sanctuary. You guys can come back when it's completely done. Okay. Maybe I can hide in a bush and they'll go away. Okay, I got to stay on my ground because if I keep backing up, they're going to think I'm running. I hope they don't see their friend out there dead. Okay, this is getting really old. The sun is going down. I've spent all day in this standoff. I'm going up. You know what I might have to do? I don't want to do it, but I might have to do it. I might have to do defense walls to hold them in. Because they do that jump, and I've seen them glitch through double stacked rock before doing that. And I want to make this seamless. And they can't jump over the defense walls. So I might have to make it out of defense walls. Let's see. I want them to be visible. And they will be from the front, but it just won't look that cool. I mean, we can stack the fence, but that's an OCD nightmare. I think I'm going to go with our previous plan. We're going to do rock walls and then put stick fences on top of them. Okay, I think they're gone. Golly, man. Okay, got our happy birthday trap. Let's try this rock wall thing. And they're back. Fuck! Ah, you dirty bastard. Now you're going to pay. Now you are... Uh, yeah. Yeah, didn't realize that I'm very low on stamina. Let's go up. Shit. Oh, man, bro. That could have been bad. Sucker punching sissies. Okay, stats are full. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys are gonna, you're gonna pay for that one. I was trying to be peaceful, but no. Now it's katana time. One down. Let's finish him off. There we go. There we go. Let's take them both at the same time. Yeah, there's only two of you now. That's what you get for sucker punching. There's nothing I hate more in this world than a dude that sucker punches. Let's do our figure eights. We're covered in blood, so our stamina isn't recovering. Nice strafe. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. All right. Come on, sir. Come and get it. Yeah, that sucked. Thanks. Appreciate it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Now what are you going to do? I don't think there's anything you can do, sir. Next time, you won't sucker punch. Where were we? Now we're going to have to undo these. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. Let's get to work on this. We really, really, really need a rock bag. The only way we can get a rock bag is if we go get some hogs. That's on the other side of the map, literally. There we go. That looks a lot better. Let's put a fence on top of it. Oh, yes. Auto stacked. See, I knew... I knew something auto stacked. Why doesn't the fence auto stack on itself, though? That's strange. Yes, perfect. Perfection. Perfect perfection. Oh, God. There's more coming. We've almost got this done. Oh, no. I've been spotted. 
Put my lighter away. I know it's dark and you guys can't see that well. There we go. Got that done. Let's pull out the fence. Bam! That is so perfect. There should be no room for glitches now. Because everything has snapped in place. All right. Let's get this side done. We are almost out of sticks. Let's get this built. One, two. Oh, crap. There's a guy behind me. I hate this. Okay, he ran past. Thank God. Well, well, well. Look at that moon. I guess you guys can see better out here now. Okay, we need one rope. We really need to go on a run to get some cloth. Here we go. There we go. The first jail cell. Let's test it. Perfect. Let's see. Can I get out of here? Nope. I am trapped. All right, this is nice. Nice little cell. Now the thing, how am I going to get out of here? I think I can jump over. Yes, I can. Okay. There we go. First trap. And this is how we're going to do all of them. We'll capture one guy, see if he can get out or jump over it. What the hell? <laughs> and if not, then uh, we're Gucci. Sorry, I know nobody says that anymore. Well, while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and take these down. Sun's coming up. We need some breakfast and some fluids. Oh, crap. Where? Yeah, he just ran right up on me. Trying to find some breakfast. All right, let's get up in the plane and see if Suzanne Summers has made us anything to eat. She gave us a pop. I guess we're on a diet today. Candy bars it is. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use this for rocks now. Let's hit R. There we go. Rocks of plenty. Let's set up all of our blueprints. Okay, that looks very snazzy. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get to work building the walls, but I'm going to leave the traps. You know what? Let's let's stop right there. We've got the blueprints. I want to capture one to see if this is efficient and it works before I start building anything. And I haven't seen a cannibal anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to stock up on supplies. We need rope. We need cloth. We need pretty much everything. Waste of meat. And we need some boar skin. We need that rock bag. And that'll help out tremendously. So I guess let's go on a bit of an adventure. I, have, I don't think I've ever slayed a hog with my bare hands. Man, we, we might we might need a bow and arrow just for hunting. Or maybe the crossbow. That's very easy to obtain. Oh, God. We got a whitey. Right as I'm... Oh, my God. There's a pack of them. This is not good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're violent. Very, very violent. These white bastards. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Ah! Get around them. Fuck. Get up. Ah! No! No! Lure him away. Ah. Get up there. Ah. I need another way up. Yeah, these white bastards are very, very violent. Let's see if I can do a pop skip. Get up there. Ah. There's a lot of them. One of them needs to go in that trap. We're going to try to jump off the high part of the hill. Yes. Got it. Going up. Oh, my God. 
That sucks. You guys are assholes. All right. Let's see if we can lure them in here. See what happens. Wow. I hate those guys. Yeah, come on in my animal sanctuary. You turds. Let's see how many we got in here. One. Yeah, keep walking. Walk that way. Go ahead. Walk that way. Yeah, they're all in there. They would have definitely been caught. Yes! Yes! I heard the trap go off. Let's see if we got one. Hopefully didn't kill him. And he's dead. How are we going to do this? I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I said early on that there was a glitch. Like, when the trap's off, all they have to do is run into it, and they stick to it. Okay. Looks like they're leaving. I hope. Just gonna crouch down. Oh my god, here comes more. That is a lot of cannibals. They're all like, what the hell happened to Steve? Well, <laughs> let's get out of here. Man, not now! Okay. Let's go check out Steve. Okay, they're gone. God, those guys are violent. Okay, so first attempt. Not so good. He's definitely dead. There's got to be a better way. And at the moment, I don't know what that is. <sighs> this dude's going to start stinking. I don't want to attract anybody right now. Now I do know that the mutants are easy to catch in with this method because they don't walk into the spikes. It's I don't think it's a one-hit kill for them. But the cannibals, that's going to be a problem. Maybe if I put a half wall, they jump over the half wall maybe. I, I have no idea. I still think this has a shot at working. I think maybe he, he like ran in and turned around and then it smacked him in the face. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to try it one more time. I just thought of something. I have an idea. I just had a genius idea. But I don't know if that's going to work either. All right, let's see if we can get one in there. So they see me. All we have to do is go up on top of our base. They'll run inside. And then the magic will happen. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, man. I hate turning my back to him. All right, let's get their attention. They see me. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see if we can get him in here. My idea was maybe to set up noose traps with inside... Oh, oh, <laughs> they're trying. Why is he attacking my base? That's strange. I thought that when you turned off building destruction, they couldn't attack your base. Weird. Well, apparently everybody disappeared. Anyway, so, noose traps. Once they get caught in the noose traps, I don't think we are able to knock them down. But if they walked over the happy birthday trap and then stepped on a noose trap, I think, I'm not sure, the noose trap would save them. But I don't think we have the ability to cut them down. Maybe I'll just take my katana and cut the spikes off of this. <laughs> off of the front. Okay, I just had another idea. I wonder if I could take the noose traps after we barricade this in, open up our prison doors... Let them run in, get caught by the noose traps, then close the doors. But again, I don't know if we can cut them down. We're, we're going to test this. We're just going to build a noose trap right here. Okay, there we go. Ma'am! I tried to get her attention. I wish we had like a whistle or something. <laughs> Cannibal whistle. That looks like another day has passed these birds man are flying really low for some reason 
Sir? Sir? Pull out my lighter. Maybe you'll see me. There we go. Check it out. Fire. This is not a noose trap, okay? Definitely not a noose trap. It's a swing. Come on. Go for a ride. It's fun. Maybe if I swing at him. You didn't like that, did you, huh? <clears throat> Man, I need a slingshot. You guys are being very passive aggressive. There you go. Walk up on me. Walk, walk up on me. Come on. I'll back up a little bit. Watch this. He did not like that. That made him angry. Right, come on, sir. Come on. I get it. You're angry. Nice skull lamp light. Oh, he almost went in there. God, these dudes are so stupid. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you was doing. Shit. Yeah, got him. Done for. Dunzo. And she knocks him down. <sighs> so I know they can knock each other down. We're probably going to get hit right in the ear. Set that back up. If anybody tries to knock him down again, I will slaughter them. Oh my god, this dude. <laughs> I'm getting a little sick and tired of you guys. Yeah. Ow, that really yeah. hurt. There you go. There you go. That make you mad? That make you mad? What are you swinging at? Will somebody get caught in the damn noose trap? I want to hear it go off. I want to hear it. Yep, got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Ah! That was terrible. I'm almost dead. Don't you do it. There's another guy behind me. Uh, I better get to safety. I better get to safety. Yep. Yep. I'm gone. Oh. One of them went in the, the prison cell. Did it kill him? It did not. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's get filled up. We'll just eat some aloe. There we go. Good as new. Okay. We caught one. Perfect. And he... Is he still in there? He is not in there. Yes, he is. He's still in there. <laughs> it works. Let's see what happens when he runs into it, if anything. Speaking of lights, man, we need to put up a lot of decorative lights so that we can see what's going on. Each cell will have a light. We've got our first prisoner. It works. Now, I do know that when we stop the game, he will disappear. So in one of the episodes, I'm assuming the last one, we're going to attempt in one episode, it's probably going to take me a couple days to do it without turning off the game, to capture every single mutant and cannibal in the forest. And then we're going to have a grand finale explosion. We're going to set up another mega noose trap with possibly twice the traps we had last time. It's going to be a serious grand finale. We might have several grand finales. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll have a noose trap grand finale. We'll blow the prison up. It'll be insane. Well, I'll tell you what. It would be nice to have the modern bow right about now. We're not doing that. Oh. We are going to have to kill a lot of cannibals as well. So we're going to set up probably... I've always wanted to do this. I never really got to. I want to set up the swinging traps. Like, have a forest of them. That would be dope. And, of course, we'll do the uh, merry-go-round of the deadfall traps. That was probably the most effective thing I've ever built in this game. To test this and make sure it's foolproof, though, we're going to sit here for a while. Maybe till morning. We need to get rid of all these dudes. 
I've got mollies. A couple of them. Let's fry these dudes. That did not work. Okay. Stand still, sir. Bam! <laughs> you know what would be cool? If they put each other out. Right in your back! Yeah, they're not liking this. The observatory hole. It's dirty. Ah, uh. oh, mister. We're going to build us a slingshot. See if we can get some hits. Now, this won't kill him, I don't think. I don't think I've ever killed a cannibal with a slingshot. That bounced right off his head. I said no projectiles. I wouldn't consider this a projectile. <laughs> Even though it is. Whatever. Yeah, that does nothing. Okay. I think they're all gone. And if not, I'm going to slaughter them. There we go. That's one dead. You out here alone, sir? That's not very smart. Just going to put that out there. Not very smart, sir. How you doing, prisoner? <laughs> See what you look like. You don't look very good. You're ugly. What you doing in there? Are you mad? Watch him get out. No! Man, dude. I knew that was going to happen, man. They always glitch through that shit. <sighs> Our methods have failed. This is for escaping. It's a death sentence. Of course you're going to back up on that to where I can't hit you. Come and get some. I'll beat you up in slow motion. I don't care. There we go. He, he escaped and he uh, paid the price. It's like we got a little... How, how did we get damage here? That's very strange. Yeah, so it looks like there's a flaw in corners. Oh, no. They're all dead, ma'am. You might want to run. Oh, damn, she was out. She was not sticking around. Well, back to the drawing boards. I'm wondering if this is possible. I don't know if he glitched through the top. But when N Knight put that fence jumping thing in, that's what literally screwed everything up. Oh, yeah, that don't look right. What in the hell is going on here? You know what's funny about that? That might just work at keeping him in. Yeah, that is jank sauce. I'm not doing that. Oh, she's back. Okay, she's getting on my nerves. No trespassing. God, you're strong. I should have kept you around. All right. Uh, let's get to work. I think flat rock walls would be fine, but I just think it's the, the corner right here, what he's glitching through. So we'll reinforce the corners and try it again. As a matter of fact, if we're going to have two rock wall high, it just started raining. We're going to put up a defense wall as well. Okay. That looks pretty sexy. Ooh wee. It's really starting to stink over here. Okay. There we go. Got the rock wall done. Too high. And uh, just in case they don't glitch through it, or they try to glitch through it, There'll be a defense wall ready to go. We are hungry. We need to eat. We're going to have a forest salad right now. There we go. Good enough for now. Oh my God. Come on. Listen, sir. You can watch me build this wall. You know, we could probably get him in there. open this up. Oh, it's a CD guy. 
I would love to collect one of those. Yeah, the best way to get them in there is to be up top. They tend to run underneath you. Okay. We're just going to build around them. Now we threatened him. The three more logs. That was a beautiful hit. Oh God, here comes more. Can you guys just please let me get this done? I don't want to cut too many trees down over here. I'm, you know what I've never done? I've never killed a cannibal with the tree. That would be interesting. No way. <laughs> okay, one more log. Now they seem interested. They're trying to show off climbing up in the trees. Okay, there we go. Tis done. Now let's see if it works. Excuse me, sir. I'm still up here. Is that dude still jumping from... Look at him. I'm not impressed, sir. <laughs> oh my god. You're lucky I don't have rocks because I'd slingshot your sack. Okay. Let's see if we can get him in here. Oh. Hey, wrong cell, sir. You're going to want to go next door. <laughs> I really need some light in there. The hell are they? Yeah, they vanished. I hear them, though. Oh, there they are. You know this is awkward. What you're doing is awkward. All right, let's go to the ground. They don't seem to be taking the... Oh. What? <laughs> okay. You're going to be a prisoner one day. Trust me. Like, oh, look at this. I wonder what this is. These are cool little sections. Oh. oh. Got an idea. Watch this. Let's see what they do. Oh. Ah. Come on, man. He stopped running. What an idiot. This is going to be so hard. Yeah, we've got to come up with a better system, but this is all I can think of as of now. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this. If you have any ideas, it'll probably take me a while to figure it out, but I'm going to figure it out. It's like a 50-50 chance if we do it this way. And if we build a noose trap, they're not necessarily in a jail cell. They're on a noose trap, and I want them to be in a cell. Let's get to the top. And we're going to have to go on a run, too, a supply run. Also, I want to thank you guys in the last Force episode. You guys actually hit the like button, and that video spread like crazy. I asked for nothing but for you to thumb me. But that's all we have time for. Thank you, guys. I think I like you. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one.